So, uh, it's Father's Day, it's just kind of out today, kind of excited. Uh, I thought that we could open it together. I know that uh, shrink wraps have become very, shrink rips, I should say, have become very passe these days, everybody's doing it. But I wanted, to, uh, firstly, just to share a little bit uh, about the artwork on this box. I really, really like it. And although it's a little dark in this room, I'm going to try and show you. That's an M1 Abrams there. And on this side, a bit more and more stock relief there. And then the back of the box it also has some great artwork. Uh, the reason why I, I guess I'm so impressed with this artwork is that I think from inception, I don't know the exact dates, but from the beginning of the uh, Kickstarter style, uh, you know, guffless pre-order program, this was a really short cycle, uh, certainly less than 12 months and probably more like six or, or eight. And so uh, it's, I mean, the quality of the box is the usual good quality from uh, the Lock and Load people, Lock and Load Publishing people. World of War series, you know, is set in World War III, 1985. And so we're getting to see all of the potential at a platoon level in a fictional, fictionalization of what uh, Mark Walker thinks World War III would have turned out to be like. And in this particular module, not only are there, you know, uh, obviously scenarios and new maps and new counters, but we're really focused on the extended and expanded uh, military capabilities of the U.S. forces. And I'm not going to jump up off the sofa to get you close enough. I'll take some pictures of this and post them up. But there's a whole whack of new uh, formations here. And... Uh, so we've got the 44th Panzer, and some of these are historical and some are not. Obviously there's a ghost troop. I don't know anything about that yet. And this looks like Fox Company. And I uh, hope, uh, oh, very cool, Task Force Eagle. So we'll see what this is all about. There's also a surprisingly large number of Russian counts here as well. So it's full count sheet. There are two maps. And all those that are familiar with the uh, terrain of these maps will no doubt like them. And these are geomorphic, so they're going to go together nicely with the rest of the series. I'm sure these go together this way as well. And this way. And we've got the town of Schult, and Metz, and Ono, and Schneider, and fun stuff like that. Now, Nice, uh, here we go, let's see what we've got here. <coughs> We're now sticking with the full color player aids and charts. I like that. That's a nice, uh, nice uh, enhancement and improvement. And we have rules of play, which have the specific rules for the forces that are uh, involved. Uh, very, in fact, looks like there are none. <laughs> so there are no special rules are they? Uh, heroes and snipers, that's it. So we understand all that. Uh, a bunch of very good scenarios in here. I've read about most of these. I haven't had a chance to do much by the way of playing or play testing of these. But there's a whole bunch. And uh, because of the the way that the money was raised here, uh, Mark, uh, uh, put all the supporters in on the uh, inside back cover and also I think on the back of the box here they've got some names on for folks who helped uh, helped and supported and gave advice and all sort of fun stuff. There's that and there's also a campaign as well uh, that uh, ties uh, some of these scenarios together and our, in, our additional, an additional set of uh, uh, 8 or 10 counters and some scenarios that uh, go along with that. So. It's a pretty cool package. Um, really excited about it. We'll have a look at it in more detail. I'll take some snaps. I'm gonna play a game real quick. Uh, so uh, that's into the breach. Looking forward to it. Let's get into the breach.